Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. In this tutorial, we are gonna take a look at an awesome library aimed at simplifying the recycler view called Groupie. If you ever wanted to make Recycler View do something more than just display a bunch of items, you know it's pretty tough. When you have multiple view types and you want to have headers and expandable headers and grid layout manager spans and you have to manage all of this, it's really not fun. This is exactly where this groupie library steps in. For example, you don't even need to write a custom view holder. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? And now let's see what's possible to do in only a few lines of code. So in this test app, we have a boring group. This is a regular group, nothing fancy about it. And then we have this exciting group. And when we expand this expandable header, which is also an amazing feature of groupie, expandable headers are really easy to implement. And now we click on this floating action button to shuffle we can see that it shuffles. And the best thing is that we don't even need to call notify on position change and all of that stuff. It is all handled for us by this groupie library. So let's get right to it. Let's create a new Android project. Make sure to include Kotlin support here. And we want to start off with basic activity and finish. As a first thing, we can safely delete this content main.xml from here. And now we want to open up activity main.xml and remove this include layout content main from here. And now let's open build.gradle for the module app. And when we go to the GitHub page for the library, link is in the description. We want to copy these two lines since we are using Kotlin and paste them right inside dependencies. Now we want to scroll up in build.gradle and right on the top, we want to write Android extensions. Experimental is equal to true. We need to do this because we want to get views right from the view holder and experimental needs to be enabled for that. As of recording this video, obviously it may not be true in the future. And now let's go to activity main.xml and we want to add a recycler view over here. It's with and height will be match parent. It's ID will be recycler view. And the pretty important thing is to set its layout behavior to be add string app bar scrolling view behavior. That's gonna push it below the toolbar. And let's also change the icon of this fab. So let's open up drawable and we want to create a new vector drawable or vector asset. And let's search for sync and add it. And now let's set SRC compat of this floating action button to be add drawable. I see sync black 24 dp. Now we get an error saying that we need to set Android default config vector drawables use support library to be true. So let's go back to build.gradle for the module app. And right inside this default config, we want to write vector drawables that use support library to be true. And when we come back to the activity main XML, we aren't getting any errors anymore. But we want to change this icon to be white. So we want to set its tint to be at Android color white. Now let's go back to the app that you've seen at the beginning of this tutorial. As you can see, we basically have two kinds of items. These nice colorful ones are called fancy items and header items are simply called expandable header items. So let's create them right now. It's not a bad idea to first create the layout. So let's create it. New layout resource file, item fancy. We want to have a card view as the root element. And for that, we need to go again to the build.gradle file and add the last line which is that we are using a card view. And if you want to get the code, click on the link in the video description, which is going to take you to resocoder.com. All right, now let's head back to item fancy and change the root element to be a card view. And I don't want to bore you with plain old XML. So I am just going to paste all of the code in here. So this is how it looks. It's pretty simple. The ID of the card view is item fancy card view and the ID of the text view is item fancy number. And now that we have the layout, let's create a fancy item Kotlin file. So new Kotlin file or a class, we want to create a class fancy item In its constructor. We want to have a color int private val color, which will be obviously of type int and also private val number, which is also of type int fancy item will inherit from item. And we want to select the one from Kotlin Android extensions from groupie. And let's implement all of the members. So alt enter and implement members and all of them. And when we get a layout, we want to return our dot layout item fancy. And as I've said, this library cannot be simpler. 
You probably noticed that we aren't writing any view holders. All we need to do is to call view holder inside this bind function and now we want to get item fancy car view from it which is the root element and now we want to set background color to be the color which was passed into fancy items constructor. Pretty simple isn't it? And then we want to get item fancy number from the view holder and we want to set its text to be number dot to string. And there is one more function that we need to override it's get span size. We are using this because we are going to be displaying items in a grid and grid layout manager has span sizes. Again it's pretty simple all we need to do is to get the span count which is by the way passed into this function as an argument and divide it by three. What this means is that we actually want to fit three fancy items in one row. No view holder just a few lines of code and we have all of this implemented. Awesome there is really no other word for it. Now let's create item expandable header XML. So again layout new layout resource file item expandable header. I am again not gonna bore you with XML. So we basically have a relative layout which has ID item expandable header root then text view item expandable header title and an image view item expandable header icon. And here I am referring to an icon which doesn't currently exist so let's import it new vector asset and search for keyboard up select this and then we want to also import keyboard arrow down. All right now we have it and as you can see this icon is just a nice little indicator. Now let's create expandable header item class. In the constructor all we need is a title which will be obviously of type string and then expandable header item will inherit from item which is again from the same package as the previous one and it will also implement an interface expandable item. All right let's implement all of the members and let's start out with things we already know. In get layout we want to return r dot layout item expandable header and inside the bind function we want to set item expandable header title dot text to be the title from the constructor. Then we want to set item expandable header icon and we want to set its image resource and actually we want to set its image resource kind of dynamically. It's gonna depend on whether or not the group is currently expanded. When it's expanded the arrow should be pointing upwards. On the contrary when the group is collapsed it should point downwards. So let's create a private helper function get rotated icon res id and actually how are we going to know if the header is expanded or collapsed? Well that is exactly why there is a function called set expandable group. So let's use it but first we need to create a private late init property expandable group of type expandable group and inside this function set expandable group we want to set our expandable group to be equal to the ontoggle listener passed into this function. And now inside our helper function get rotated icon res id if expandable group is expanded we want to return r dot drawable ic keyboard arrow up Otherwise when the group is collapsed let's return r dot drawable I see keyboard arrow down. And now inside this bind function we want to set image resource on this icon to be get rotated icon res id and then whenever the root view is clicked so view holder item expandable header root which is the relative root layout and we want to set its on click listener and inside it we want to call expandable group on toggle expand it which will expand or collapse it and then we want to copy this line of code above and paste it inside this on click listener. This is all we need to do for the expandable header item. Now there is only one thing left and that is to put this all together. So let's go to main activity cotton file. We can remove this snack bar thing from here and let's also collapse these two functions so that they aren't distracting us. Up here let's create a reference to private while exciting section which is the section that we will be able to shuffle and it's simply equal to a new instance of section. Now inside on create we want to have a val boring fancy items and this is a good place to have a helper function for generating fancy items. So let's create one private fun generate fancy items. It will accept a count which will be integer and we want to return a mutable list of type fancy item. All right and inside we want to generate a random color so val rnd is equal to new random and then we want to return mutable list. The size of the list is the count 
and the initialization lambda will go as follows. We want to have a random color and it's going to be equal to color dot ARGB. It should have full alpha, so 255. And then red will be RND dot next int and the upper limit will be 256. So it will generate numbers only up to 255. And now we want to copy this RND dot next int and paste it two times for the other colors, so green and blue. And then we want to return a fancy item. The color will simply be the color that we have just created. And number will be RND dot next int and the upper bound will be 100. And now we can set these boring fancy items to be equal to generate fancy items and the count will be 6. Let's also create exciting fancy items. So generate fancy items and this time we want to generate 12. Now let's create a group adapter and we haven't written any adapter ourselves which is also a huge plus. So all we can do here is to set it to a new group adapter. We need to supply a generic parameter view holder and let's select the one from Kotlin extensions from the groupy library. And now on this group adapter we want to set span count so dot apply which is a nice Kotlin way of doing things. And on this group adapter there is a property called span count and we want to set it to be three which basically says that we want to have three columns. Then we want to get the recycler view from our layout and on it call apply. Like for example layout manager will be equal to a new grid layout manager. The context is this add main activity and the span count is simply group adapter that span count which we have set up here. And on this grid layout manager we want to apply span size lookup is equal to group adapter dot span size lookup. This is what enables us to write this line inside fancy item. This get span size function. This is all possible because we are using span size lookup from the group adapter. And then there is only one thing left on the recycler view. We want to set its adapter to be the group adapter. Then we want to create two expandable groups. One for boring items and one for exciting items. So expandable group. We want to specify its expandable header item. So let's put that right here. This is the class that we have created and we want to pass a title in here which is boring group. And the next argument is whether or not this expandable group should be expanded at the start. And let's expand this group. So true. And then we want to apply and we want to add a section to this expandable group. So add a new section and this section will contain boring fancy items. And then we want to add this expandable group to the group adapter. So let's write group adapter dot add this. All right, now let's copy this, paste it down here. This time the title will be exciting group and it won't be expanded by default. And because exciting items can be shuffled, we are keeping a reference to their section because we need to call update on this section later when we want to shuffle them. So we aren't going to add a brand new section, but rather exciting section. But first we need to add items to exciting section. So exciting section dot add all and we want to add exciting fancy items. Awesome. And now the last bit of code, we want to get the floating action button and set its on click listener. And when we click it, we want to shuffle exciting fancy items. So exciting fancy items dot shuffle and then we want to update exciting section. So exciting section dot update and update it with exciting fancy items. And notice that we aren't calling any notify an item moved or any of that kind of stuff. All of that dirty work is done by the groupy library, which is pretty awesome. And now we should be good to go. So let's test our app. And now that we are inside our app, you can see that we have two groups, boring group and also exciting group. And when we shuffle, it shuffles nicely. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. If you want to get the code from this tutorial, go to the link in the description, which is going to take you to resocoder.com. If this tutorial helped you with implementing a fancy recycler view in a matter of minutes with this awesome library called Groupy, give this video a like and also share it. If you don't want to miss more tutorials like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you aren't going to miss any of my new videos. Leave a comment if you have anything to say, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.